uh, they say that uh, uh, I do not have any quarrel with uh, Richard Gomez. Uh, as, uh, he was the one who said that he's not going to accept anybody from entering or, or that matter leaving the place. Okay, malang yan. Uh, it's a uh, part of uh, maybe the vigilance that uh, a person nurtures in his heart of how to do it. But you know, there are uh, also uh, constitutional issues that are involved, and those are sacred ones. And for those who are not really pronounced to be infected positive. Uh, there's no reason why you should not accept them, especially those who are returning to their homes from uh, doing a, a work abroad. Kawawa naman kasi. So, yung constitutional right, this is, the, 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 there's no, uh, the, there's no really uh, a reason why you should not uh, uh, accept uh, them with open arms. I think uh, this has been understood by everybody. And uh, unless, uh, well, for one, if you are uh, positive, you can stay with the place where government has to provide for the hospitalization. Uh, I want to make it clear that uh, as much as possible, the ordinary citizen, the Filipino, does not have to spend money. If he is sick, he can seek hospitalization and charge everything to government. If he happens to be in that place and he cannot move out, and maybe he's not uh, welcome to the place, uh, he can stay where, uh, uh, where he finds himself and uh, this I would like to convey to the mayor. Help anyone, not, not even Filipinos, foreigners, who are in your place and who go to you or who goes to the municipal uh, uh, building, uh, the, the seat of governance of your municipality to seek help. You should expedite the hospitalization. Tulungan ninyo yung mga Pilipino. Total, uh, I will pay. I will pay for the expenses. Wala problema yan. Uh, you just uh, sign a whatever document there. I will pay for the hospitalization of any Filipino who finds himself in a strange place and he has nowhere to go.